All right, we're outside and it's a rather blustery day. Hopefully the wind dies down a little bit. What we have here is a Dr. Prepare uh, lithium iron ba battery. It's a lithium iron phosphate battery, 100 amp hour. Um, what I want to get out of the way is, is they did send this to me free of charge in exchange for this video review. Now, this is not the full view re review of this battery. What this is going to be is just some testing of this module and it's called the Max Hub. And if you take a look here, it's got various inputs and outputs, and this Anderson power pole connector is for uh, DC in. I don't know if you can see that there or not. But it says that you can hook a 100-watt solar panel directly to this battery and charge the battery. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. Um, also, I do want to mention these are additional add-on terminal posts that I put on here. These are not the ones that came with the battery. But uh, I'll have links to all the stuff below if you want to check it out in more detail. Also, stay tuned for the full review of this battery in about a week or so. All right, let's go over and take a look at our, our solar panel. And uh, we're going to do a couple of measurements with the multimeter over there. Make sure it's working okay. PCB Way is one of the premier PCB services company on the market today. Stop by the website at PCBWay.com to check them out. PCB Way's production facilities run 24-7 to make sure that you get the quality and the service that you need for your project. Check out PCB Way and the variety of offerings they have. In addition to PCBs, you can take advantage of PCB Way's assembly service. Ordering assembly service is a three-step process that is easy and convenient. If you have any questions, reach out to their customer support who is standing by. Nothing overly fancy here. This is just a 100 watt Renergy solar panel, and I'm using the Renergy mount that comes that is additional that you can purchase along with the solar panel. And again, I'll have links below for this stuff as well. Okay, hopefully we can see that. Okay, the multimeter is turned on for DC voltage. Here are the output plugs for the solar panel, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put the positive in the positive and the negative in the negative. So you can see there from the multimeter, we're looking at around 23 and a half volts being generated by this panel, which uh, is pretty good. What I want to do now is just do a quick amperage test so we can see how much current this thing is charging at. Then we're going to hook it up to the battery and we're going to run it through a meter and we're going to do all kinds of fancy stuff. So uh, hold on one second while we do the amp test. Okay, now we have our meter set on amps. And if you notice, we had to switch the ports that we're plugged into. And we're going to go ahead and uh, do this test. Also, it's a good idea to test your plugs with a multimeter like this so you can get your polarity correct and make sure that everything is connected appropriately. All right, well, we weren't getting anything. Here is the cable that I made for this particular project. It's 25 feet. Um, here are our plugs, and it should work here just fine. And the end of this goes into um, Anderson power poles right here. So we'll do another attempt to check the current here, but we'll also plug it into the battery and through an ammeter there. And again, we're not getting anything uh, with this ammeter, so maybe I'm measuring it incorrectly, but uh, we'll see. All right, with the plugged in, you can see on the battery that we have the Max Hub is powered up and it is charging right now. So we'll use a clamp meter to see if we can check and see what kind of uh, current's coming through. All right, hopefully you can see that okay. We're looking at a little over four amps coming through. I've got it clamped onto the positive cable coming out of the charger or coming out of the solar panel. So we're pulling pretty good at uh, four amps. That's uh, better than what I expected this time of year and uh, in these conditions, but uh, not bad. Hopefully we can see that all right. Here's the PowerWorks amp meter, and uh, we're just gonna let this run for a while and uh, see how much we can charge this battery up. The battery is close to being topped off, so I only think it's gonna take about uh, eight or nine amps, give or take, but uh, we'll let this run and we'll see what happens. Well, I'm blocking the, uh, the sunlight, but it's been a few hours and it looks like uh, we're about to run out of light here. And over here at the battery, it is not charging any longer. 
and it looks like we've got was that about four oh three three point eight amps is what we uh what we were able to put in here and if i look over here the light is fully charged i don't know how well that's going to come in on the uh on the phone anyhow that's really going to do it um i really am impressed with this battery i like it a lot stay tuned and uh more videos to come